Hey everybody, welcome back to J-Bob and Sons, where we're making videos about sports cards, Pokemon cards, old cars, and much, much more. Thanks for being here. Well, I've been buying up some vintage baseball wax packs. My plan is to make a video coming up soon where I open up a bunch of these to celebrate my birthday this year and also just for the fun of it. But I've noticed some definite differences in the quality of these, so I wanted to share that with you today. Okay, so here we have uh, two examples of packs I picked up from two different retailers on eBay. Uh, the pack on the right to me looks super clean. It's a 1985 pack. Uh, it says it came from a certified case, but you really can never uh, trust anything on eBay, I would imagine. But to me, it looks pretty good. This pack also says it was never been opened. Uh, it's a 1988 Topps pack, but to me, just based on the look, it looks like it's been opened maybe multiple times in its life. Now, one thing I didn't do initially was, you know, ask for images of the back of these packs when I bought them, but that would be a pretty good tip, I would say, is taking a good look at the front and the back of these packs before you buy them. So, what I'm gonna do is open these uh, two examples of these, these two packs, and we'll just talk about the differences. Okay, so before I get started, I just wanna let everyone know I'm not an expert on vintage wax packs whatsoever. I'm just going to give you my observations of why I think maybe this pack was tampered with and the other one is not. If you have any ideas or comments, please leave them below. And this can be a useful video to everyone out there who's currently collecting and those who are like me and have gotten back into collecting just recently. Okay, so the first thing that I noticed with this pack is just how easy it was to open initially. Um, I barely pulled on the wax paper and the first fold here just came open super smooth. I barely had to pull it at all and it came right open. The other thing that I noticed about this pack is that um, in, at no point does the wax paper tear. And that's a lot different on the next pack as you'll see coming up. When I look down at the pack, I do see wax on the card and this is consistent of what I believe you should see. So when these are getting sealed from the factory with the hot wax, then some of that seeps into the card below. Now, the card closest to the gum, um, I'm anticipating there to be some sort of stain on that card. And in this case, it's not. The, the gum itself looks like it's in good shape, but I would imagine there'd be some sort of stain on this card. So at this point, I'm feeling a little suspicious of this pack. And that's just because of how easy the wrapper was to open. Plus, I don't see any stain on uh, the card from the gum whatsoever. Now, that might not be the biggest tell. So let's look at the cards themselves. I find this Don Mattingly card looks pretty good, except there's some stains on the front and I feel like there's a stain there on the back. The card doesn't seem to be in that great of shape. So maybe this was inserted at a later date. The rest of the cards look like um, just some regular uh, commons, uh, nothing too outstanding. Uh, when I find this Juan Samuel card, I notice that there's a scratch on the front of it. Now, is it possible that these cards came scratched and stained from tops from the factory? It's possible, but I'm a little suspicious. Now, in 1988 pack, I'd be looking out for a Tom Glavin rookie card. I'd be excited about a Cal Ripken Jr. Uh, Nolan Ryan to add to my personal collection, Bo Jackson, Barry Bonds. I don't see any of those players in here. And you know, that's okay, but uh, I wouldn't expect that in every pack. But I'm a little suspicious of this pack just because of the observations I've made so far. Okay, now let's look at this 1985 pack. I picked this up from a uh, eBayer that said that these are from a sealed case and I just went for it. I picked up about um, just like maybe five or six of these and decided to uh, open up this one. The first thing to me was just how hard it's been. I, I'm trying to open this pack and it's very difficult. I can't really uh, open it as easily as the last one and I'm tearing it as I try to open it. So I take my time and decide to even bring in my little scissors and try to see if I can just get this thing open without damaging the wax paper. And that's proven to be pretty difficult. I'm not noticing that there's any gobs of glue or anything like that. It definitely seems like this is an original pack just based on um, 
you know, maybe how difficult it is to open it initially. And at every point, as I try to get through this wax wrapper, there's um, tears. So I'm, I'm, tearing, I'm tearing this thing up. So it's difficult to open. And then I look down at the first card, I see the wax stain, and that makes sense. And that's consistent with the last pack as well. However, um, when we look at these cards, the feel of the cards, to me, just seem a lot nicer. Um, they seem a lot uh, cleaner. And look at this. This is what I would expect a card to look like hanging out next to a piece of gum like this since 1985. Now again, please leave my, in the comments below your thoughts, but to me, I'm feeling really good about this pack. Like this might be the first time that these cards have seen the light of day since 1985. And as I look at the cards, I'm noticing I actually have some pretty good quality cards. This is a Mike Moore drafted pick in really good shape. Um, I would imagine if this thing was searched, some of the nicer cards like that one might have been removed. And I'll just quickly go through the rest of these. In the 1985 pack, of course, I'm going to be really excited to find a Mark McGuire rookie card. And it's going to look just like this card, except it'll be Mark McGuire. Now, again, I would imagine if this thing was searched, those kind of cards would be removed. Um, I'll be excited when I'm opening these. Um, here's a Pete Rose card as, as well. Nice looking card. I would imagine this might have been picked up as well if it was, um, you know, searched previously. But I'll be excited about Nolan Ryan, Kirby Puckett rookie card, Roger Clemens rookie card. Um, so just based on the feel of this, how difficult it was to open, also the gum stain. Um, to me, I feel like this is a, a legitimate pack. Nice Jim Clancy card here as well. So those are my observations. I hope they're useful. Um, like I said, I'm going to be making a video opening up more of these soon. Uh, so hey, if you liked this, hit the subscribe button and come on back for some more videos. Appreciate your time and have a great day.